are honored and very excited to share the news with Team Dreamatology that we have earned and made it to the million dollar circle. Arnie and I would not be here without the backbone of our incredible team, our talented and abundant leaders, and the graciousness of Dr. Rodan and Dr. Fields. And we certainly wouldn't be here without the love and support of our family and our two kids, Macy and Ryan. I'm overjoyed, overjoyed by what this means. Um, and not just to us. You know, it's not just about this one million. It's about the tens of millions that have resulted in commissions out to our team, to dreaming bigger, to igniting the possibilities in everyone that we meet. That's really the spirit of what this is all about. And as I think about it, we're now the Million Dreams team. So congratulations to all of you in Team Dreamatology. I want to spend just a couple more minutes with you. It's a great time to kind of reflect and think about some of the things that have helped make us so successful in our experiences with all of you. And I guess what I want to impress on everyone is it's really not what we've earned, it's what we've learned along the way. So I want to share with you just a couple of things. We have learned that, you know, it's really who you are on the inside that gets reflected on the outside to others. If you're authentic and vulnerable, you share your truth and you're generous, the world will open up to you. They'll open up to you in ways that you never, ever expected. Your net worth is not your paycheck. It's really a combination of your self-worth, of your network, and of your willingness to provide value to others wherever you go. I encourage you to, to embrace failure. One of the greatest lessons that I've learned is that we fail forward. Your greatest success will come through trying and failing and succeeding and learning. And finally, own your story own your story and use it to help lift others up, to help open others up. It's so much easier to step into uncertainty in life, in business, everything that we do when we know that the outcome is helping others. So with that in mind, I am ready to own my story and I wanna share it with you this morning. And it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> Some of you have heard me tell the story of why I joined Rodana Fields, my struggle as a small business owner and the ups and downs of the economic downturn, and how I was yearning for an exit strategy from my tumultuous kind of corporate life. But my, to be honest, my story didn't start there. My story started when I was eight years old. And that's when my burning desire for success and independence truly began. After my father died of leukemia, my mother and my brother and I were left with nothing but hospital bills, uh, the kindness of strangers, and um, food stamps. And it was during that time that I couldn't help but live under the cloud of shame that was cast upon our whole family and that fear and insecurity that resulted during those times, very desperate times. It also um, arose in me a desire to overcome that fear, a determination to never let something like that happen to me in my life and thus kind of catapulted me on, on a road of a very successful career. But you know, every time, you know, even in corporate America and owning my own business, if there was a layoff or I would lose a client, I would become overwhelmed, overwhelmed and paralyzed with fear and anxiety for what my future might hold. When I joined Rodan and Fields at 44, I was still chasing after the security 
and sanctuary from uncertainty. And after my first year in business, when I kind of replaced my corporate income, was really just the first inkling and the first time that I felt some respite from the running, running, running from my past and the stigma of my youth. So I'm the best part of my story, besides all of you, is that after my first year in business, I was finally in a position not only to feel a sense of security for myself, but to give back to families and kids that might also be in financial trouble. That maybe they couldn't pay for camps or after school programs. Um, and my passions really grew besides you know, securing my family and their future, it really grew into helping organizations that help, you know, families like we were, like my mom and my brother and I, and um, that help us kind of go through tough times with your self-esteem totally intact. So Romy, of course, um, has known about our Million Dollar Circle achievement for a, a, a little bit ahead of all of you. and. She and John have so generously given to an organization that's near and dear to my heart, a very generous donation um, to give back to a cause that I'm really passionate about. And I just could not thank you more from the bottom of my heart. So now that you all know my story, I guess what I want to leave you with is if I can do it, I know you can do it. You know, you can step into this million dollar circle right here with me if you commit to the goal commit to your dreams be consistent follow the system every day and invest in yourself and believe in yourself you deserve it let's go for it okay this path for me was challenging it was not the easiest thing that i've ever done but i can tell you without a shadow of a doubt it is the most rewarding the most rewarding and I had to face some fears and some demons and embrace uncertainty and failure and most importantly, own my story. So thank you for letting me share this with you. Thank you for being a part of Team Dreamatology. We love you. We appreciate you. And um, we'll see you right here where I am along with your teams very soon. Thanks.